Steam Series, championed by your Southern California Toyota dealers. In today's STEAM profile, we're meeting people who make their living catering to gamers. Yeah, they do it by using technology, engineering, and math. CBS 2's Jasmine Veal introduces us to these specialty computer builders. Lights, power, action, and more lights. It's called the Mandalorian Build, and it was designed to celebrate May the 4th. I've been building computers 22 years now. Joe Mejia works for ENIAC in the City of Commerce. I'm the PC Assembly Supervisor. ENIAC manufactures high-end gaming computers. While Joe took the lead on the Mandalorian build, Frank Sanchez took the lead on building this one. It's called the Hydrator. It's a computer that can basically mix a drink as you're playing a game. While Frank and Joe are building the one-of-a-kind gaming powerhouses, head of engineering, Vishal Manet designs the operating systems that enable peak performance. There is something that I dreamed and it came to life. Vishal says hardcore gamers demand a lot from their machines and running high-powered graphics requires high-power cooling. Those are basically the fans. There are two kinds. These colorful spinning discs on the standard gaming computers are fans with blades you can't see. The Mandalorian build in the hydrator, they use fluid cooling similar to antifreeze. If you really love gaming, maybe then you need to start thinking about how these moving pieces work. Of all the STEAM disciplines, computer design and manufacturing relies most on technology, engineering, and math. Every single computer starts with the basic steps of assembling the PC. And any mass-produced computer needs to be built on an assembly line. And to make sure the line runs efficiently and at the right speed, you have to do the math. How many PCs that you need to produce per hour, per minute? That goes into the calculation when you design automation. Time between the computers that you need to allocate per station. The level of education you need depends on the career you have in mind. Michelle, who designs the circuit boards and conveyor belts, has two degrees in engineering. Industrial and manufacturing systems engineering. For Frank and Joe, their education has been learning by building, but it all started with a passion for gaming and determination to achieve the impossible. It can get very tiring when you keep trying something and it just doesn't work, but you just have to push through it and you'll learn from the mistakes. It takes a lot of faith. You gotta believe in yourself. And the price tag for a custom-built gaming PC like the Hydrator or Mandalorian build can be up to $20,000. So to learn more about STEAM careers, you can go to cbsla.com steam.